January 15, 1929, Martin Luther King is born in Atlanta, Georgia. His family was very happy to have him. Then his life changed, changed because black and white people couldn't live this equal. Martin's father was a minister, so when Martin grew up, he became a minister too. Martin loved his job. He worked there for many years. He let everybody know to fight with words, not hands. After college, Martin Luther King Jr. went to Boston to study some more. There, he met Coretta Scott. They went together to movies and concerts. They met for lunches and dinners. They talked and talked. They fell in love. Martin and Coretta Scott got married on June 18, 1953. In 1955, Rosa Parks was on the bus. She refused to give up her seat, so she was arrested and put to jail. People refused to ride the buses. People walked wherever they went. Martin Luther King Jr. walked with them. The bus boycott went on for 381 days. Finally, they were allowed to sit wherever they wanted, and the bus boycott ended. On August 28, 1963, hundreds of thousands of black and whites gathered around Martin Luther King Jr. for his I Have a Dream speech. They gathered by the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. People were chanting Martin's name when he was walking up to the microphone. Martin dreamt that all blacks and whites will join hands and sing. Martin Luther King Jr. was the youngest man to win the Nobel Peace Prize. He won it in 1964. He won it for all of his dedication to the Civil Rights Movement, for his dedication for the peace we have today. He got it for the love he spread, and he didn't get it by hurting people. He got it by words. Love, peace, care, freedom, together. Martin Luther King Jr. was shot and killed. It was on his balcony at the Lorraine Motel in Memphis. It was on April 3rd. It was a guy who shot him. His name was James O. Ray. He had a gun and shot Martin Luther King Jr. because he hated black people. The celebration of Martin Luther King Jr. is on the third Monday in January. We all celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day because, because he was a man of peace. His speeches are important today. He wanted all people to be equal.